Hello. Today we will do another very interesting conversation. Like you know, I love my uh, Sony A7 III and I tried the, a new lens for me. It's not a new lens, but for me, yes. It's the Sony 85 1.8. This lens, everybody says that it's a very sharp lens, very high quality. For a reasonable price, if we compare with the other lens of Sony, because this one is only $573. And I compared with the D850 with another very famous lens for Nikon this time. It's the 85 millimeters, 1.82. Uh, this one is a little bit more uh, compact. For me, this one, the Nikon one, looks uh, cheaper. It's only $100 difference, cheaper. But it's a nice lens too. But I prefer the, the feeling of the Sony ones than of the Nikon one. Then what I did, I did this. Where are my software? Okay, it's here. Okay, I open this. Okay, I took pictures, the same guy, a friend of mine in, in his house, with the lens, different aperture. I will give you all the link for all these pictures on the link I will add. And like this, you can see everything very easily all the one pictures the impair numbers are the like you can see here are the sony the sony it's 85 1.8 and here we have 85 f 4.5 okay here you have exactly the same picture the color is completely different but I think the sun, it was less sun with uh, Sony when I changed, uh, the sun disappeared and that's why the color is not exactly the same. Okay, we will try. This one is number three, then number three is Sony and I do one by one. Look at that how sharp it is and now the same picture from Nikon I remind you that uh, the Nikon is a 45 million pixel and the Sony is only 24 million pixel if you see this one I think it's very easy to do that I missed a little bit the focus point it's more here i think than on the high on the eyes again nikon uh, sony look at that it's so easy to have a sharp uh, picture with uh, tracking i i like it same things for, okay, I will show you the complete picture. Now again, one by 100%. Now I do the Nikon. Okay, you see the Nikon looks a little bit less sharp, but it's perhaps my fault. Again, the Sony, the Sony uh, for me looks amazing. The color, uh, everything. 
now is the Nikon again. 100% with the Nikon. This one now is 1.8. I open to see the bokeh we have, the blurry background, but not a lot. Here it's 1.8 with the Sony. Look at that. I love that. Again, the same thing with the Nikon. I think it's a very interesting comparison because one is only 24 million pixels and the second one is 45 million pixels. Then I switch on another one with the Nikon. You see that, that on this one I had a, a sun also, then it's more comparable than to the Sony. Look, yeah, 100%. Now I go, it's a 1.8 full aperture. Now I go 2.8, I tried with the Sony. I'm amazed about the quality of both cameras, and the both are, for me, it's the top of the line you can buy today. And uh, for the moment, of course, the Sony is a lot cheaper, but if you have to add all the lenses, it's no more the case. Here, yeah. Nikon. And to finish, the same one again from Sony. Okay, now, like I tell you, I will put a link on Google Photo and you check, you can check by yourself all the picture to choose which one you prefer. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.